Good morning and welcome back to the Learning Preserve. It has definitely been a stressful two weeks around here. We caught COVID and if you have kids, you know. You know how hard that is when your little ones are sick and you're sick and it's just been, it's been a really long, long two weeks. So we are starting to feel better now. I still have a couple little ones that are not quite up to 100%, but I have a toddler who is ready to go and we're gonna do an art project with him this morning and I'm not sure who else will join us, but we'll see who's filling up for it and maybe we'll go to the garden and just make the best of this beautiful morning. We're happy to be feeling better and we have a whole bunch of things in store that we feel like we're running behind on. We wanna get the back deck cleared off. We wanna start getting ready and preparing for our new school year. We have book hauls coming up. And of course, we are spending all summer long doing arts and crafts that are low cost, no cost. And we are ready to get back to all of those things now that we're feeling a little bit better. So today we're gonna to be making a puffer fish or fork art. Sea life fork art is what we're trying to make today. Hudson's been really, really into sea life, not just bass fishing lately. He's been getting into some of the ocean animals. Hi. <laughs> Hi. So we're gonna go ahead and make a puffer fish. And what you're gonna need is we're gonna be using black paper, white paint, uh, maybe a little bit of yellow paint and some white paper, of course a fork and Elmer's glue. We are using Gorilla Glue. By no means does this project, no, don't push the stop button. By no means does this project call for Gorilla Glue, but we are completely out of Elmer's glue. That has never happened in eight years. It's happening right now. So we're gonna use this. It's gonna, of course, stay. We're also going to use parchment paper or wax paper and cut out some little some little fins that we can glue on to the pitcher for him as well. So I think that's it. Yeah, let's get started. I forgot to mention Q-tips. So you're going to first start off by taking a Q-tip and making little dots in the center of your black paper. They could be light and they could be dark. Good job, Hudson. And then we're gonna need more paint. Hudson, do you wanna what? squirt some more paint out? Yeah, please. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> That's his favorite thing to do. Pacey, you might wanna move those Q-tips. That's a lot. That's a lot. Get that, all gone. All gone. Do we need that much? Yeah. Okay. Okay, and then you can take your fork and you're gonna dip your fork into the paint and then you're gonna drag it outward around those little dots that you made. Paisley, show him. Nice. Mine look at mine. Uh, I'm gonna mind the plant. I want to the pen to sing. <laughs> what are you making? A monster pen. What did you say? A monster pen. Monster pen? No. <laughs> what? I make fin pins. Monster fin pins. Oh, oh monster, monster footprints. footprints. I thought we were making a blowfish today. No, not. We mean dinosaur. Oh. Are you making a dinosaur now? Dinosaur. Dinosaur footprints. That's what we're doing over here. Okay, Paige, that looks great. Okay, Hudson has decided to stick to the plan of making a puffer fish. So I'm gonna give him another piece of paper here. Start doing your dots in the middle, okay? okay? Yeah. Just in the middle. Look at Paisley. Make it look like Paisley's, okay? I got okay, the dots in the middle. Okay, Paisley, are you almost done? Um, I think I am done. Hey, that's mine. mine. What? That's my paint. Okay. Good job, Hudson. Okay. 
Let's put a little glue on the bottom. No. Here. You're kidding, Mom. So put a little glue. Oh, Daddy, I eat that eye, Mom. Oh, Paisley, one of his little eyeballs fell down. Can you get it? Okay. There's his eyes. And then go ahead and put his little mouth on. Put a little glue on the back of that. Okay, you got his mouth on? Yeah. Oh, he looks good. Okay, now what does he need? He needs his little what? His little fins? Yeah. Let me see your fins. <laughs> I mean, look, Mom. I love it. Okay, let's put fins on him. Let me cut some out real quick. And we're going to use wax paper or um, parchment paper so that it's a little clear. It yeah. looks like a fin. Let's put a tiny eyeball. A tiny, tiny eyeball. eyeball. A tiny eyeball. You have tiny eyeballs, basically, oh, compared no. to his. Ah, the okay, here. Oh. Put one little fin on your fishy. Turn it over. No, the glue's on the other side, bud. And then here's one more. Okay, is it done? Yeah. Okay, pick it up and let's see it. It's upside down, turn it around. Flip it around. <gasps> wow! He looks really nice. Oh, baby. <gasps> Whoa! Is he a nice cool. puffer fish? Yeah. Did you name him? Yeah. What's his name? Uh, puffer. puffer fish. Nice name. Hudson is out here digging for potatoes. He wants potatoes for dinner. Did you find some? Yeah, I did. Okay, so we're back from the garden. It was so hot down there. I'm just still very sensitive to heat. I'm not 100%. Yeah, bring me a baby wipe right up there. Where am I with the stuff on this? Oh, no. I've got. Yeah, me blue paint. Thank you so much for joining us. Yes, thank you so much for joining us. We have so many things that we want to share with you guys coming up. We were working on a little construction area for the kids to play with and a dinosaur area in the garden before we got sick. So we're excited to get back to that this week and share with you those things. Give me one second, sir. What can you say? Hey, mom. <laughs> hello, hello. So thank you for joining us and we will see you again soon. I need to push the red button. You can push the red button. Say bye. Bye.